Hi, welcome to another video in my series on solving linear equations. Now in this particular video we're continuing the work that we've been doing with fractional equations but you'll notice that I've now got two or more terms that contain fractions. In this example here I've got this term, the first term containing the fraction 10 and the second term here containing the fraction 5. And in this example we've got three terms with three fractions in. Now to solve this first one here what we've got to do is find the lowest common multiple of 10 and 5. In other words try and find a number that 10 and 5 go into and preferably as small as possible. Well it's going to be 10. So what I'm going to do is multiply both sides of this equation by 10. So what we would therefore have is that 10 multiplied by the left hand side, we'll just put this in, 10 multiplied by 4x minus 7 over 10 equals 10 times the other side. So we've got 10 multiplied by all of x minus 3 over 5. Okay? Now what happens now is that because we selected a number that both 10 and 5 go into, you can see that this 10 will go into this 10 once. And in this situation, this 5 will divide into the 10 twice. So what we've got essentially is we've got rid of the fractions. We've got 1 times 4x minus 7 on the left. In other words, just 4x minus 7. And on the right hand side here, we've got 2 just multiplied by the x minus 3. So you can see we've got rid of both the 10 and the 5 from the denominators here. So we just proceed in the usual way at this stage. So we'll have 4x minus 7 on the left and on the right we just expand the bracket and get 2x minus 6. And if we subtract 2x from both sides we'll have 4x take away 2x which is 2x and then we're left with that minus 7 equals and if we subtract 2x from this side we're just left with minus 6. And then I'm going to add 7 to both sides so we therefore have 2x equals minus 6 add 7 which is 1. And if we divide both sides now by 2 we end up with 2x over 2 which is just x equals 1 over 2 which is a half. Now I did say that we multiply both sides here by the lowest common multiple of our fractions, 10 and 5. You could though choose another value that uh, both 10 and 5 go into, say 20. So if you'd put 20 here and 20 here, cancelled out, worked your way through, you'd end up still with x equals half, providing you didn't make any mistakes. So I would certainly encourage you to have another go at doing this and say multiplying by 20 or even 50. 50 is a number that both 10 and 5 go into. So at the end of the day though it's easier to work with the lowest common multiple but do experiment. It's the best way to learn okay in situations like this. All your versions should come out to x equals a half. Okay now looking at number 2 in this one then we've got three terms and we've got three fractions. So what we need to do is get rid of 4, 3 and 6. So preferably we need to find a number, the lowest common multiple of 4, 3 and 6. So what do they all go into? Well the lowest number that they all go into is 12. You could choose say 24. You could choose 48, they'll all go into those numbers but 12 is the lowest common multiple and it would make the solution a lot quicker and easier. So we're going to multiply through by 12 
Now remember we've got two terms on the left hand side here but if we imagine this grouped in brackets this would be one term. If we multiply it by 12 we could end up doing 12 times the first term and then 12 times the second term. So we've got 12 multiplied by 3x minus 2 and that's divided by 4. And then we've got for the next one we've got minus and then 12 multiplied by x minus 2 over 3 and then equals and then for the right hand side of the equation 12 multiplied by the 2x minus 1 over 6. Okay now we pick 12 because the 4, the 3 and the 6 will divide cleanly into it. So 4 into 12 goes 3 times. This one we can divide by 3. 3 into 3 goes once. 3 into 12 goes 4. And for this one 6 into 6 goes once and 6 into 12 goes twice. So we don't have any fractions anymore. We've just got 3 multiplied by 3x minus 2. And then for this one we've got minus 4 multiplied by x minus 2. And for the last term we've got 2 multiplied by 2x minus 1. Now with practice you won't necessarily need to do this line. You should be able to see that by multiplying through by 12 you should be able to go straight to this line. Anyway from here on you might like to just pause the video and see this one out or, or I'll just work through it fairly quickly. What we've got if we expand this bracket is 3 times 3x which is 9x and 3 times minus 2 which is minus 6. Here be careful we've got minus 4 multiplied by the two terms so minus 4 times x is minus 4x but minus 4 times minus 2 is going to be plus 8. And this equals 2 times 2x which is 4x and 2 times minus 1 which is minus 2. And what I'm going to do now is just group up my terms on the left hand side. So we've got 9x minus 4x which is 5x and then we've got minus 6 plus 8 which is plus 2. And this equals the 4x minus 2 on the right hand side. Now I'm going to subtract 4x from both sides so therefore 5x take 4x leaves me with x and then we've got the constant there plus 2 and if I subtract 4x from the right hand side we're just left with minus 2. And Next I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides and that leaves me with x on the left hand side and on the right we've got minus 2 minus another 2 which is minus 4. Okay. So I hope it's given you an idea now on handling these types of questions where we've got fractions in more than one term. Try and multiply through by the lowest common multiple of the denominators. Okay.